Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you have been here before, a welcome back. So make sure if you are new here, you go and check out part one of this garage series. I have it linked in the description box down below. So make sure you start there. As you guys would have known, we have been doing a couple garage sales at this house. She has been decluttering like crazy and just had so much stuff. So we figured instead of just donating all of it, we tried to make a few bucks. It's garage sale season, see what happened. As you can tell, we did not get rid of that much stuff. So this is the pile that we took out of the garage of stuff that is gonna go. And this is the pile of stuff that we're going to try and sell again. Um, another friend is having a garage sale, so we're just gonna move that stuff there. I included this little clip because sometimes these videos are just me standing like getting direction and figuring out where to go next. So a lot of my kind of job in this type of situation is just to be directed like, okay, point out what's going and I can move it. Tell me where you want this. What is your plan? What is the vision in your head of what you want the space to look like? And then I basically just help facilitate that vision. So it is so crazy how hard that she is working and how much stuff she is just letting go of. It is absolutely amazing. And she is such an inspiration to even me. Like I am just so impressed with her. All of this stuff here, I am still just taking out the garage sale stuff that is now going to go to donations. There was so much, and once we got it out of this space, it made the biggest difference. I also want to mention, um, I wanna shout out, give you guys a big thanks for everybody who commented on my last video and showed their support and were behind me the whole way. Um, I think I got back to most of them, but there were so many comments and I just appreciate you guys. You really helped me power through that couple weeks there. I'm feeling much better. Things are on the up and up and everything is just gonna turn out great. I'm focusing on my goals and my dreams and my daughter and it is actually amazing living with my sister. We are co-parenting our children together just amazingly and it's like a dream come true here. So. Thank you guys, everyone. I just thought I would let you know that I am doing much better. So you are gonna see a little blob in the corner here. I was up on a ladder, so I was not about to go up and down the stairs trying to get things down because I probably would have seriously wounded myself. So um, I'm just blurring her out in the corner here. If it looks kind of funny, that's just what's going on. She has not been up in these rafters in years. There were mostly just like her kids, old toys, collectibles, stored up there so we took them down for the kids to go through and then she had a few kind of miscellaneous items that we took down as well and then a couple we left like golf bags um, there was some supplies for her husband's work and then I think there was a bed frame up there but we couldn't actually get to it you probably see the wheels way in the back there so that might be a project for next time So these bins are the ones we took down from the rafters and that was all just her kids stuff. Next thing we realized we had to do is to donate all these items. A lot of places will not take them if they have price tags on them. And of course, we didn't think about that when we were packing the stuff up in the first place. So then we had to go through and try and take all the price tags off of everything it was so hot and we were sweating. We had a giant fan and I was just over it.
So once again, this is stuff that is going to a friend's garage sale. So we just loaded it up in the back of a truck to get it out of the way. And then that way we could continue in the garage. So as you noticed, this was day two. Unfortunately, I know you guys are waiting for the end of this video and I promise you there's no more garage sales and it is coming, but there will be a third part to this video as you are going to find out as we continue to go through all of this stuff. Now, one of the projects we took on in this garage is that she wanted to have this shelf from outside the house in the garage to store some of her items. So of course you can see we had to go through, declutter this whole shelf. There was a pile of stuff that went, we added it into the go pile and then a pile of stuff that we rearranged in the shelf once we got it into its new spot. So for the second day of filming this garage, we did end up calling in backup and we still have not got this space done. It is just absolutely overwhelming the amount of stuff that ended up in that garage. So since we've been going through decluttering the house, I am going to mention I filmed like five minutes of this and I really don't know how or why. But as I was saying, Everything that we've been decluttering from the house in the last few videos, we have been putting in the garage in preps for the garage sale. So I wish I would have taken a picture of what the garage sale looked like because it was stretched all the way down the driveway, both sides. We were trying to unbox things like it was insane, but everybody loved it. Lots of people came just to look at some of the antiques and the cool things. We got to meet a lot of people. It was a fun time. I'm glad I got to be involved with it. And you know, we got rid of some stuff, made a few people happy. So that's all that really matters. So next thing we did is got the shelf into the garage and then this is her wood station. Now I know she has lots of project in the house and now she has lots of projects in the garage, but the garage is going to be functioning again. So she has somewhere to work on these. And you know what? Once we get these spaces under control and she can use them, if she stands there and realizes, wow, this is still way too much stuff. How am I going to get it all done? we're going to keep decluttering it. So don't be judgmental. I know a lot of you have opinions on how much stuff she still keeps and how many projects are on the go, but this is her house. This is what she loves. And you have to focus on the progress that we are making and not on the progress that someone else thinks that you should be making. On that note, I am going to say that I know she is having a struggle right now. She's got a lot of stuff going on in her life, lots of things piling up on her mind. And honestly, she said this process is really helping her get through it. And that just makes me so happy that I can be there to help and support her and get her on a good track in her life and hopefully try and settle her mind a little bit with everything that's going on. I also had to add this in here because this is just what work is like. Are you done? I'm done. Some people just don't appreciate the, um, the process of filming a video.
So this part I am excited for. I, for the first time, did some demoing and we took out this shelf unit that was installed. It was a hot mess. I have never tried taking a shelving unit out before. It took me forever, couldn't find out where it was attached. And then of course, I am short and well, you can just continue watching it. I'm actually so proud that I got that out of there. She wanted to wait until her son came home to help us get it out. And I was like, you know what? I am a strong, confident, independent woman. I am taking this shelving unit down myself. And I did with no injuries and it helped the day go by smoother. It was like we actually accomplished a lot after we got that out. So getting that shelf out provided us a space to store her large pieces of plywood. They were kind of just slid back into the shed until we could find a spot. This was probably harder than taking the actual shelf out because it is taller than the beams in the garage. So trying to slide it up through the beams and just get around some of the stuff was a bit of a mess. So make sure that if you guys like this video, you are giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And next Friday, we will be doing the reveal of this garage. I am so excited. I know this video might not seem like much progress was made, but we got out some big items and got rid of all the stuff. I am still in shock at how much stuff came out of this house so far, and I can't wait to continue the process. So thank you guys once again for being here, and I am excited to show you the finale next week.